Hey YouTube, what's going on? Lionheart here and welcome back. In this video, we're gonna go over our extended version of the farm route. If you haven't seen the farm route video, I've included a link to the original video in the description below. Uh, I also have with me today three friends who are joining me because the farm route is always way more fun when you play with others. So if you go into our co-op mode menu, you can see that today I have other players who are similar level as me so that we can play at the highest world rank possible to get the best drops possible. You can actually go down to anyone's world rank. You just have to be, you know, if somebody's world rank four and there's other players who are world rank five, you're going to have to join in on world rank four in order to farm together. But I think this route is a lot more fun with friends. I think you'll enjoy it more um, playing with other people. And the real benefit is that if you play with other people regularly, you can run this route multiple times. The respawn time on most of the enemies that you're going to kill during this farm route is one server day. So if you clear it uh, on my server, then we can move over to Boats' server. Then we can move over to Shasun's server. Then we can move over to Bloody's server. And we can actually clear this route a total of four times in a single day, each by doing it in each individual place. That allows you to get four times the loot, which is really cool because, you know, in addition to dropping materials you'll need for ascension, you can also have artifacts drop on this route and you're going to make a bunch of mora. Uh, we actually ran the numbers today uh, thanks to Doki's request and it was about uh, 15,000 mora is what we were able to make on our last run. So this is the second time we're doing it today and this time we're on my world and you can see how we split out our squad. Our squad is awesome. We have uh, one healer, Bloody's on heals, and then we have a combination of different elements. Boats is running ice, which also, um, as you guys may know, Chong Yang has an ability that lets everybody else deal ice damage as well. I'm on fire with Dilu, and Shasun is on um, uh, Baidu with Electro. And so this is really great combination, right? We can get uh, all kinds of different elemental reactions between the four of us. We can break every single kind of Fatui barrier that we're going to come in contact with, and so you know, overall it will make the run go more quickly. It'll be a lot more fun. Um, and you know, the critical piece is to just make sure you're, you're, you're doing your part. You're not gonna be able to switch out characters. So as you're making mistakes, maybe have some food prepared that you can eat if you need an emergency heal. And similarly, as you'll see before we start the run, I'm actually gonna go in and eat food for damage and stamina. I don't think that part's required, but it definitely will make things go faster. And in this version of the route, we've extended it, so it actually will take you longer to clear. Um, and so if you have limited time to play, those things may help. So we'll just go in and say, hey, stamina, this looks good. Stamina for sprinting, climbing, those are the two things we're most worried about. So we'll eat that. And then, you know, what the hell, we got some legendary food. Let's eat that also. Really All right. With you um, if you're looking for a map to follow along, there is also a link to a new updated Imgur in the description. Um, it'll be right below the link to the old video. And you can use that in order to see the route on your map. And you can also see that um, one thing we've done to help us stay on track during the map is we actually mark a lot of these bosses with pins. So this reminds us, hey, at the beginning, we always need to go backwards, come back up, and then we kind of loop around and... With time, you'll remember these routes. You'll memorize them as you run them more. But I find that the pins can help you, uh, you know, I already got lost as I was going down because there's so many, but the pins can help you stay on track. And so just pin it in a way that, that you can remember. All right, let's do it. Let's jump in. You guys ready? Look at all these fun emotes we got going on here. Uh, uh. <laughs> all right, let's do it. So remember, at the very beginning of the route, the only time you're going to have to TP, we're going to jump down off of this cliff, and you're going to head straight down here, and drop, and these flowers are going to be here, these fire flowers. Sometimes they don't appear, as you noticed when we were coming down, they didn't show up, but trust me, they're here. Um, I made the mistake earlier of thinking that they weren't, and uh, we almost skipped it, and then everybody was like, wait, what are you talking about, Lionheart? They're actually down here. So uh, definitely make sure that you drop down here, even if it looks like they're not there. Co-op can sometimes be buggy. Sometimes it shows things that aren't there that are there. So just trust your instinct and go. Now you can just climb back up here, but what we're gonna do, and this is the only time I do this during this route, is I'm just gonna teleport right back up because it's a little bit quicker. Um, there are some efficiencies you can gain on this route by teleporting around. But I've tried to remove teleporting because I feel like sometimes it breaks immersion and you may just have more fun just running the route, having it connected. So that's what we're going to do here. So as soon as you're done with that, you're going to run over to this treasure hunter guy. He's not alone. Uh, you'll hit him once. There's you'll no see his buddies will pop out. 
And then you just go ham and beat them all down. Look at all the fun you can have in co-op. Look at all these different elemental reactions we have going on right now. Isn't that awesome? It's super cool, I think. Make sure you grab your drops. Ooh, we got a blue one. That's what you want. And then after you get that, you're going to run this way, and you're actually going to just jump off this ledge and scooch across. Sometimes, if you'll notice behind you, there'll be some things you can break. You may have different mining uh, spawn... Blah, 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 blah. Can't speak. Mining spawn points that respawn behind you. Um, if you want to get them, you can. It will slow down the run route. All right, for this one, it looks like there's no enemies here, right? You're going to land here, and you're going to be like, wait, there's nobody here. And in my old video, I told you to hit this flower. Notice how hitting the flower doesn't do anything? That was a mistake. What you actually need to do is you need to run to this flower right here that I'm circling with my cursor. When you walk over to this, it's going to spawn these two guys, and those are the guys that you're going to fight. And that's what you're looking for down here. Look at all the damage they're doing in the background. It's amazing. That's so cool. All right. So you grab your, your all of your loot, and you're going to go ahead and then climb up this mountain. And you can climb straight. You can run around, whatever you prefer if you have stamina. But the goal is for you to just get up here. If you have a water character, they can burst that flower for you so you can pick it up. And remember, all the mining along this route, you can share with your friends. So if you see things like Corlapis or Noctilucus Jade, those can't be shared. Those should go to the person who's hosting. But any other mining points, you might as well break and share that materials with your friends. We'll run over to this Fatui point right here. And this is one of the main reasons you want diversity in your team comp because like let's say this guy gets a barrier up if we don't have water it's going to take us a lot longer to kill him right and the same thing is true for like the electro for two if his barrier comes up we need ice to break that right and so you want to make sure you have the proper counters in order to get through those so after you clear those guys you're going to run this way and you'll recall there's another group of fatui over here um this guy's an electro geo combo i believe the geo guy will spawn once we hit him yeah see there he is and Geo, you don't really need a hard counter for. I guess probably my advice would be bring somebody who uses a Claymore to help break through his shield if he brings it up. But you, you really can defeat this guy with almost anybody. And here you'll see, um, with the water-ice combo, he's just basically stunlocked the entire time. It's actually super amazing. We'll run down here, and there's an Animo Fatui hanging out. Um, but he'll also spawn some friends when you go and hit him. The water guy in the back is the most important to clear. So this guy will actually start healing them. So if you're having trouble clearing this camp, you're like, why are they regenerating health? It's the water Fatui right here that you want to kill first, and then you can follow up and focus on the other two. Fire breaks your Cryo Fatui, and the Animo Fatui just kind of goes Super Saiyan anytime he's hit with an element. So you probably just need to iframe him with sprinting, and then you won't take as much damage. Wow, we're getting a lot of blues on this run. That's really great. Okay. So after we do that, you're going to run this way along the route, and you're going to jump down here, and there'll be an Abyss Mage waiting for you. Um, actually, up here. Sorry, I went down. Woo! Don't make that mistake. He's up top. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> He's right up here. So you can see we were over here. You can just run right up. My B. Rip people on the video who are following me strictly. <laughs> There's always one mistake, guys in a live recording. All right. There's a purple artifact, so you can see some of the reasons why we're farming. Nice purple artifact to drop from that character. And if you're lucky, you can get quite a few. If you're unlucky, you know, you may only get uh, a couple. So, okay, right after this, we're, uh, uh, we're gonna come across, jump to this fire guy, who's over here. Just want to make sure I didn't mean to send any loot. Here's an example of Coralapis, right? So I can take this, but if he takes it, go ahead and take it. Take it, Finn. Now I can't take it. So you can see, if you take that from your friends, you're scumbag. Although, if they give you permission, it's okay. So just keep that in mind in terms of, like, how those things work. That way, uh, 
Like, not all mining is truly shared. Some things look like mining, but they're not. Dude, it's so fun. Just to see all the uh, elemental reactions. Alright, so you're going to run right over here. And I'll try not to make any more sticks that can turn around. So you're actually going to go up there and kill that guy eventually. But I think it's a little more efficient since we have to come back up to just jump down and fight this guy. And then you can, this will remind you to actually climb back up because you'll remember that guy's there. There's like jumping down or getting lost on your way back around. So wait for this guy to get up. And then I'll load on him. And remember, as you fight Ruin Guards, you always need to wait for them to stand up. Do not just start attacking them right away. Versus the Ruin Hunter, which is the one that floats, you can start hitting him immediately. And, uh, uh, you know, no need to wait. You'll do tons of damage to him, and you actually want to kill him before he starts bombing you. Oh, another artifact. Wow. Uh, you want to kill him before he starts bombing you, or it gets to be a really long fight. All right, so we just climb right back up like we talked about, and we'll run over to this guy, and just go ahead and start fighting him. There we go. Excellent, excellent. All right. And uh, yeah, kill the little dudes. The little dudes are, so along this route, you'll see there's lots of little hilly churls. And it's up to you whether you and your friends want to kill them. You may need those materials. You may also be fine with the ones that you have. And then you can just, in that case, run right past them. They can't drop artifacts. So, you know, the loot table is basically limited to the more you'll gain from them as well as the materials. So it's totally up to you. See how we can hit this guy right away? We don't have to wait for him to stand up. So that'll help us take him out faster. Sweet. We were less lucky on his loot table. You'll run over this way, fly on down, and you'll see there's somebody waiting for us over here. There's also a Corlapis over there that I've already claimed, but if you haven't claimed it, it may have spawned. And you'll run up and you'll beat down this Ice Abyss Mage. Look at him go. All right. Grab his loot, and then you're going to go straight to the edge of this cliff, and you're just going to jump off. Down below, you'll see there's a Fire Abyss Mage, or Pyro Abyss Mage, excuse me, um, and that's your next target. There's also these guys on these towers. You may actually want to jump on these tower guys and maybe divide and conquer and knock them off because they're pretty annoying. It's up to you. You can also just go straight for the Pyrobus Mage. I'm going to take this guy off the tower. Um, and uh, I don't at least knock one of them off. So that's just a little less annoying for us. Rip! Rip! You were caught missing! Rip! YouTube saw it! <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> I gotta, you gotta troll, you gotta troll a little bit to make sure you're having a good time. So you could see this guy would have been a nightmare for us if we hadn't brought along um, a water character. But because we had a water character, the shield breaks really, really fast. And remember, the health of your enemies, it scales on co-op. So if you're thinking like, well, normally I can just break through that Abyss guy's shield no problem and like I'm not even worried about it. Just remember, everything scales with co-op. Yes, more people are hitting it, but the shield is also a little bit more challenging to break. And so having those hard elemental counters you know, it could really go a long way for you. After this is uh, cleared, you're going to jump over here and you're going to notice there are three Fatui roaming around, a Cryo, an Animo, and a Pyro. You can fight them together, you can fight them separate, but the goal is that, you know, you just beat, beat them up and get the drops. And then there are some optional add-ons we'll talk about here after we clear these two. So fight through these guys. And you can see we were able to take those two on, but the the cryo guy is still separate, so we'll just run up to him, take him out real quick. All right. And then here's the here's the choices you have. You have two choices. Now you can continue the route, which involves you going up um, this way towards the teleporter, and there's some guys up here. Or if you want to get this side split, there's a bunch of hilly trails over here as well as a dendro slime. Uh, for purposes of this video, we're going to go ahead and do the side split so you can see what's over there. But if you don't want it, you can go ahead and just skip ahead to the next part. So first is the dendro slime. We'll go ahead and beat him up. 
then after you get the Dendro Slime, you come over and you can clear these hilly trails. And there's a couple of casters, a couple of club guys, and a couple of the bow ones. And so you just clear all of them. And like, yeah, see. Just who knows best, just goes right in for the annoying archers. They're always the most annoying and they're always posed in like weird areas. <laughs> and some carrots, I guess, if you want them. Come up and grab this guy. If you can knock him off so that other people can get the loot, it's better. I um, I didn't knock him off there, but it's no big deal. Alright, so after we do that, we're going to move back this way. And you'll be running through here. And what you'll end up looking for is uh, the little Sonic the Hedgehog guys. The Rock Rollers, whose name is like way too long to say. Geo blah, 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 something like that. But you can see them just rolling around right here. There's two of them here. And then there's also an Electro Fatui Mage back there. Look at these guys just go crazy. How do you fight this if you were not ranged? They just they just run around the whole time. If you like the Reddit video, the answer is to just swim out to sea and drown them. <laughs> they uh they drown quite easily. Oh. Cool. I'll take those two out and then we'll run up next to the Fatui Electro Mage. <laughs> she dropped a lot of loot. That's great. All right. So after you defeat her, you're going to start heading uh, this way towards these trees. You can just look for this like valley of like daggery sticks to make sure you're facing the right way. And uh, when you run through here, it looks like there's no enemies here. But in fact, you're actually going to get jumped by three pyro flowers. So you just walk through here. You'll see them pop up. One, two, three. Uh, let them all group up and then go crazy. And while you're fighting these, especially if your damage time is a little low, make sure you're keeping an eye on all of them in case one of them starts to charge. So, like, they have this, like, mortar attack, basically, that it deals a lot of damage. And you've probably seen the cryo equivalents, like a machine gun. You, you just don't want to let them charge up. So if you see one of them charging, you just switch focus to that one and use elemental skills to interrupt the charge. Um, my skills won't interrupt it because I'm playing pyro. But hopefully one of your uh, co-op members are, or if you're doing this solo, you can switch to a non-pyro character, use an elemental skill, and it usually uh, interrupts. All right, so after they're done, we're going to go on through here, continue forward, and there's more Sonic Rock Rolly guys over here. There should be three of them. You'll see one there, one there, and one there. We'll try and get all their attention if we can. There we go. All right. go those guys are so fun all right after you kill those you can move on down this way you'll have an animo slime uh you can skip this guy if you don't want him uh you can also just wait for him to fly up in the air and pop him that also works but i think if you especially if you have four players he actually seems to go down quite fast afterwards you're going to zigzag this way i don't have a marker on my map so you won't be able to see it on my map but you just come over here and you're looking for these fatui right down here so sometimes i run the wrong way but if you come down and you don't see them you're looking for this little fort of fatui and you're just going to fly overhead there's three of them down there and you're going to start again with the water fatui because he's the one who can heal them and so he'll extend the length of the fight Once he's down, you can decide which order you want to divide and conquer in. Um, there's no wrong order, really, after that. You just want to make sure the healer's not keeping people alive. So see how he's uh, how he's set up like this? Oh, I'm getting raided with Fob! Yo, Fob! Holy smokes! Hey, thank you, man, for the raid! 
Wow. And congratulations on the uh, Abyss. A I can't even speak. Congratulations on the Abyss Floor 12 clear. Uh, I, I watched the whole thing. It was beautiful. I saw you clear all the way through and uh, I could tell you were excited. I haven't even cleared that yet. I mean, it was beautiful to watch and, and really inspirational. So, so thank you for the content and, and thank you so much for the raid and welcome everybody uh, to the channel. I'm actually in the middle of recording uh, an updated farming route for YouTube. Um, so we're making a video, but like, wow, this is uh, super cool. Th th thank you so much. And uh, thank you, Fob, so much. I, I really appreciate it. I, I hope we can play more uh, together in the future. Uh, uh, thank you so, 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 so much. And everyone, welcome. Um, uh, let me uh, let me continue the video just because I know some people are going to be farming to this video and so I don't want them to be stalled out here for too long but I just want all of you to know I really appreciate you stopping by and uh, if you enjoy the content uh, please follow and, and Fob is such an amazing streamer and so uh, yeah I really appreciate this thank you so much uh, whew, okay uh, so back to the farm route so so we had dropped down here oh look the Fatui left us a nice blue how nice uh, so we had dropped down here to get this, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and continue the route. You're going to move up this way, and you're actually going to uh, sew together to this. So you see this like uh, stone area here? This is where you're going to climb up, and there'll be a Fatui assassin waiting for you up there. And then after that, you're going to fight another Electro Mage. So you can see him right here waiting for us. He does his silly blades, which if you just walk into, totally own you. Okay, there we go. It was like a delayed own. But uh, you can you can just sprint by them and still close the distance. And there's a lot of ways to reveal him by um, putting elemental reactions on him. So you can see here we have a pretty good idea where he is. He's not doing anything and we'll just chain him. If you hear him speak, just um, immediately sprint. See that? Anytime he sprints uh, or speaks like that, you just want to immediately sprint so that you can iframe that. I have been one shot by that before. Um, usually it just takes you to half health, but you definitely don't want to get hit by that if you can avoid it. So then we're going to wander up this way. You're going to come to the top of the stairs, and there'll be an Electro Fatui Mage waiting for you. You'll go ahead and take her out. And by the way, if this is uh, your first time here and you're looking for the Imgur that goes with this route, you can type exclamation mark farm route in chat, and uh, you can see the route. Uh, we mapped it out so that you can have a copy of it, and that will also be on the video. All right, there we go. Um, after we do this, we're going to come this way down to the Ruin Walkers. There are three Ruin Walkers total and uh, three, actually, maybe four. Uh, it's either three or four total, but then there's also the Ruin uh, Hunter. We'll get the count in a second. So again, you wait for them to stand up. Don't blow any of your abilities until he's up. And then once he's up, you can just go crazy, right, and have a great time. Oh yeah, these guys are so fun to fight. My favorite fight probably in all of the open world has to be where you fight four of these at once. Like that that island fight, just it never gets old to me. It's really, really fun. I've died on it tons of times, even with powerful players. Sometimes it just gets a little messy when they all start spinning. But yeah, this guy you can start hitting right away. You don't need to wait for. Um, and in fact, you don't want to wait for as we've talked about because if he starts bombing you guys, uh, it'll significantly extend the amount of time it takes you to complete the run. Oh, we'll go ahead and clear that. Hallelujah. Hope for some good drops. We got a Chaos Core. That's great. Um, there's one more over here, but before you go to him, you're actually going to come across this way. And you're going to fight the uh, Treasure Hunter guys that are here. And once they all appear, then you can go ahead and start unloading your big ultis. It'll make the clear a lot faster. So that's good. We get this guy. We're also going to get this dude in the corner. Oh, yeah. All right. And then after that's clear, you can just hop the wall. And don't forget about this little guy over here. A lot of times I see people clear the hunter and then just jump down because they see the other one. And then you miss this one. So definitely take the time to... Uh, Wait for this guy, and, and you see the other dude walking around down there. We'll get to him next. I can, it's kind of funny to watch him like constantly be frozen, because he's still doing his attack animation, and it kind of makes it harder to see when the actual attack frame is going to come through <laughs> and, and hit everybody. You have to like be a little, a little tricky about how you dodge. All right, another Chaos Core. That's great. We've had good drops this run. 
All right, so you're going to come down this way after that, and you're just going to go straight on this big guy. He's always going to shoot his missiles first. Whoever he targets, you just kind of want to stay back. It's easier to dodge the missiles. It is where if you get close, you're probably going to eat the hit. And uh, here, let me just unload all three E's because we were holding our ulti, which you shouldn't do if you're playing D-Luke. You should use it because you'll recharge it almost every fight. Um, but yeah, we'll just beat on this guy and then we'll have it back up afterwards for the next one. There we go. All right, so after, by the way, this is an example of desync. <laughs> it looks so funny. Boats is out fighting in the field, but he's actually fighting with us. So if you ever see that and you wonder like what somebody's doing, they're, they're in the fight. The net code's just a little funky sometimes. So yeah. So, okay, so you'll be tempted to run to these guys, but don't do that. Come over here. There's a Animo Fatui who's sitting by himself. Um, you just want to go ahead and get this free farm. It's a really easy fight. Um, he dies super fast. There's no reason to miss him. Especially if you need uh, Fatui materials. There we go. Got those. That's kind of goofy. And then you'll just run right back out to the path. Come over. And you can jump onto these guys. Another Animo Fatui and a Geo Fatui. There we go. All right, cool. After you do that, um, you're going to go down this way. There's another group of Fatui here. So you'll see there's a Cryo, an Electro, and a Roaming Fire. You're going to get those guys. Then we're going to jump down here. We're going to take out, there's a Ruin Walker in there. There's a Fatui Assassin across the way. And then lastly, we'll go up to the guys who are up here and then swing around and there's another camp of Fatui here. Uh, so if you're planning the route, kind of make sure that you hit all of those camps we mentioned. Um, or you can just follow along in the video and you'll be able to hit them with us. And if we kill them before you, just pause the video um, and then resume. So that way you don't get turned around. This area is a little confusing and some of the mobs here are kind of stubborn in terms of like walking off cliffs and resetting. So uh, I'll mention those when we get to them. And sometimes maybe you even just want to skip them to be honest because you could waste a lot of time trying to fight them and then having them reset over and over it can be really frustrating all right cool so we grab all these here's the fire guy who's still alive interestingly uh you see how if you drop him into water he just breaks his shield so if you can get him into water if you don't have like for whatever reason somebody who's water in your party you're not running barba maybe you're running chi chi and you don't have any of the other water characters in your group um, like Mona or um, I can't remember the sword guy's name right now. But uh, yeah, you can just push him into the water and that'll break it. You won't be able to do that all the time for all the fire um, uh, Fatui that you're going to see, the pyro Fatui that you're going to see. But yeah, you can do it for that guy. All right, so you come down to this dude. He's already standing up. That's weird. Oh, God. Maybe I'll just hide here in case he's targeting me. Success! <laughs> So sometimes if you see me spam out E like that, rather than get the hits in between, it's just because I want to get my ulti out. And um, I'm running Crimson Witch's set, and so I want the maximum stacks of damage on it. You can get the hits in between, um, but sometimes I spam it just to stack up our 37.5% pyro damage, which is the maximum effect d can get from that set. Who's that going on? No. go <laughs> boats said on my screen he is underground <laughs> boats boats i think you got some mean desync going on right now all right so the easiest way to get back up is just sprint jump into this wind current you should have it if you've been here before and solved it and you just go all the way up you can see these guys that we're going to go for but beforehand make sure you get this assassin who's just roaming around on the left in the original video we missed this guy but um, thanks to your comments we were able to go and find him and now we can include him in the extended route where'd he go so see that no escape is what he said and sometimes i think the line changes but it might just be my like bad brain um, but yeah, just keep an eye out for his dialogue. 
And that's that's a pretty good pretty good cue for when to dodge. Yeah, nice. Nice drops. Alright, so after that, these are the guys that are kind of fussy. I don't like these Fatui, these two up here. The they really didn't give them like enough room in terms of like for you to fight them because they both move a lot and especially the pyro fatui he tends to jump backwards and falls off the edge if he falls off the edge and he's close you can jump down after him if he falls and he's really in the, like the far distance it might make more sense for you to just wait for him to um respawn and come back up which they will do eventually here you can see we're like locking them down pretty good with a lot of damage and i think this fight honestly is a lot easier in four player co-op than it is if you're solo running when i solo run it's like 50 50 whether or not one of them gets knocked off the edge and i have to wait for the reset if you find this area frustrating you can just run straight past these guys it's not a big loss on the route um, it's only one camp and you can just continue on to this dendro slime who's right over here All right, there we go. Ooh, blue drops. I'm telling you, today's good for us. All right, after you get the Dendro Slime, if you have somebody, you can kill these if you want. You can also ignore them. If you have somebody who's a water person, they can smash these flowers, and then you can just walk up to them and pick them up. Um, only you can pick those up, I think. So if you're in somebody else's server because you're doing this for co-op, maybe leave it for them to pick up um, is probably the nice thing to do. Um, but yeah, if you if you want those, you get them. So far, the only use I think these flowers have is for like alchemy potions, which are like for damage. You don't really need those right now, but yeah, who knows what's in the future, right? So you might as well build a collection now. It's easy to do. All right, so the main camp here you want is this Fatui camp. We also uh, skipped these guys in the original video, um, and I did make a note on the Imgur about that, but uh, yeah, make sure you don't skip them. This is a valuable cam. Uh, you want to get this just because there's quite a few guys here, and especially if you're skipping the other one, right? All right, so we got his drops. I think I left the other guy's drops up there on accident. I'm glad we checked because there's a blue. Okay, and then after this, your natural reaction will be to want to walk forward through here. Don't do it. You, it took me like maybe like 10 runs of this before I stopped like going like, oh, wait, I'm not supposed to go this way. So after you kill these guys, you immediately turn back around and you're actually going to backtrack across the pond. OK, and there's these little like annoying bugs that are going to be here. If you have somebody who's playing like um, like a range character, you can kill them. They're worth more of, but they're not going to drop you like any kind of materials or artifacts. So usually I just run past them and skip them because it's faster. And we go straight up to these treasure hunters right here. The two guys are here, but like most treasure hunter camps, once you hit them, more guys appear. And so you can just get that initial hit off to get them to spawn and then beat on the other guys. The hunter. Sweet. After this, you're going to keep going straight. And I actually like to run straight down this path now. Previously, we did like this crazy like up here, drop down, all that stuff. I don't think you need to do that. I think you can just run straight forward to this shield guy. And if you have somebody like D. Luke who has a sword, um, we're running wolves on him. And you want to get that proc before you start the fight. You can use this guy to get him to low health to get the wolf proc. Now my whole team is boosted and we can just run straight into here to fight these guys. Rip, that aimed the wrong way? <laughs> I don't think we actually hit him, although interestingly his entire shield is gone, so maybe we did. Maybe we did hit him and I didn't see it. Bless desync. Cool. That was cool. All right, we can grab this guy as well. Again, the little hilly turtles, if you don't need their materials, you can ignore them. It's totally okay. There's no reason to get, uh, you know, too worried about it. They can't drop anything other than the hilly turtle materials and some more. Then there's this little dude in here having a party by himself. Come up and make sure you beat him down. There he goes. We'll pick up his loot. You'll fight this guy if you want him. And then after you're done, don't run back. In the old video, we ran back, we ran around. There's a quicker way. You can come up to this ladder, climb this ladder, and there'll be some little hilly trails up here again. If you want them, you can have them. If you want to run past them, you can run past them. It's totally fine. I'm going to leave that one behind. And you're going to come up in here, and there's another big guy up here. 
After you're done with him, you're going to go around. It's easier for me to show you here now. You're going to go around the side and you're going to climb up the left. Okay? So we'll come in here, fight this big guy. Oh, he drops fast. <laughs> he drops fast. Yo, look at Barbara. Look at this is like the craziest stuff in co-op. You get some like crazy like perma effect glitches. Look at this. <laughs> she's she's like frozen ice queen. This is her ultimate form, guys. <laughs> I feel like this is a horror game and I have like a statue that's chasing me every time I turn around. It's getting closer. <laughs> that's super funny. All right. So, uh you're going to come over here, climb this, okay? Now it's gonna look like you can't do it, right? You're gonna see this like this wall here. Don't worry about this ceiling. You're gonna go around the ceiling and you're gonna come over and you can make it all the way up. If you keep trying to get up here, hello, hello beautiful. If you keep trying to uh, go against this, you can see this ridge like extends all the way across. You need to go left. When you're climbing, go left, left. I'm going right, but I'm facing the wrong way. If you are on the wall, it would be your left. Go left and you can get up, okay? Once you're up, uh, here's some Corlapis. Again, don't take your friends Corlapis. It's for you. Don't take it from your friends. Server host gets them, no one else. Uh, and then come in and you can just fight this group right here. And we should actually be able to charge our ulti up here again too. For a nice quick clear speed. Oh, it's beautiful. Just a nice sweep across. Alright, grab this guy. Okay, well... I think everyone else is just dying, so we'll just pick up the loot. <laughs> everyone else is being beaten down on his squad. We got a, we got a strong group. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Right? We got a fast group. All right, cool. So after you clear this out, you're just going to go ahead and run through this path. And you know it's a path because if you're looking at the map, you can see this kind of like... You see this divide here that happens? That's how you know you're walking the right way. So if you get like, you're following a path, it's the wrong way, right? You're running into walls, it's the wrong way. You look for this little valley right here. That's how you know you're on the right track. Okay, so you'll run through the valley. And you'll come over to the very next treasure hunter area. And uh, these guys are super cool. I, I skipped these in the last video also. We just ran straight across. Um, but I, I think they're actually worthwhile. If you don't need treasure hunter materials, you can skip this part and just move forward. But, uh, yeah, I think it's worth it. There's enough of them here that, uh, you know, it's good farm. Again, you can kind of reposition if you're playing D-Luke and just try to hit everybody with your ult and, and really speed up the clear. This guy's got to always be on his own over here, trying to fling mud on you. And then you can see nothing, like the weirdest flashbang ever. All right, so pick up all your stuff. And then afterwards, you're, you're actually going to just kind of wander back, if that makes sense. Now, there is... Um, there is a Cryo Abyss Mage here, and I'll show you where he is on the map. Uh, we're not going to go there, but if for some reason you've got more time, you're not totally worried about efficiency, there's a cave down here near the water. You can go in, and right around this area underground, there is a Cryo Abyss Mage. I skip him, and the reason I skip him is because he's, he's really far um, out of the way, in my opinion. I don't think it's worth it for efficiency. We get a lot of different mages on this route. Um, but if you really want to make sure you're clearing everything possible each day, he is there and you can go down and get him. And I did mention him in the last video. Whoever host is can come in here. If you haven't been here in a while, there'll be like a lot of like shinies you can collect. It's mostly small trash, but hey, every piece of fodder helps, right? You'll run over to um, these guys. You know, honestly, these guys are, it's like a small group. You could totally skip this if you don't need treasure hunter material. They don't spawn anyone extra. It's just these three. But um, I feel like it's a convenient step along the way. And if you're trying to charge up your ulti, the mob we fight after this is a ruin hunter, right? Which again, you want to be killing as quickly as possible um, so that you don't waste a bunch of time with it floating above you. All right, so you'll just come up here, hop this. And here's another ruin hunter. See him just hanging out. And again, the Rune Hunters, you can just walk up to and beat on them right away. No need to wait. Tell them who you are. Ooh, a 40k crit. That's nice. We like those. All right. So we'll pick up all that loot. Now, in the old video, this is where the route ends. If you were watching the old farming video, this is where it ends. So if you're interested in the extension, this is where the extension really gets going. 
Um, we've corrected a lot of the farming mistakes we made in the original video, but everything from this point on is different routes that we have sewn together through a combination of your comments and our own trial and error. And so I wanna show you that part now. I think this is how you can get more resources and also add a little bit more fun to this route if you're like trying to think about things to do and you just wanna extend your day. So you're gonna run straight over here, okay? And you're gonna just be able to fly across. You could start your flying here. It's okay. It makes no difference. It's just about how much stamina you have. And actually now is also probably a good time to re-eat if you want to refresh your stamina. And you're just going to curve around this mountain and try and land right here near the screen thing. By the way, the fight that we're about to do here, so I'm just going to re-eat, is probably the second most challenging fight, I would say, on the map if you're solo. Um, and so, yeah, just maybe be prepared and yeah, uh, uh, yeah keep that in mind. So we're going to run through here. There'll be some little trash dudes on the left. Again, up to you if you want to fight them or you want to ignore them. Um, and you can just beat on them on the way. I guess we'll clear these ones because they kind of get in your face. And then the fight is right around this corner. It's uh, three abyss mages and a bunch of archers that are going to shoot Electro. See them? So we're just going to come on over. We lost some of our abyss mages. There they are. They're in the corner. And the reason why this fight becomes challenging is if you get wet and you get hit with that electro or you get hit with the freezing, you can get chain frozen, you can get electro damage. Um, I've actually lost a character in here before doing this solo. So, you know, in our group, we're making it look pretty smooth, but uh, I probably wouldn't come in here and underestimate this fight. And then if you come in here and you just totally rock it, you can feel really good about yourself, I think. Um, so that's awesome. Well, there we go. It's a great addition to the route and uh, a lot of good materials. You're going to need a lot of those Abyss Mage materials. Run up here, grab these. And then after that, you're just going to jump straight off. And you're going to come over here to these Fatui guys that are by the big golden tree. You remember these guys. You did this puzzle. These are some of the first Fatuis I fought uh, where I had to deal with the barrier. And I was like, man, these guys are really tanky. How does anyone kill these guys? <laughs> and I, you know, I figured it out over time. All right, so these guys tend to get knocked off into the water, interestingly enough. If you want like an instant kill versus like beating them to death, you could just try to knock them off. See that like uh, the pyro uh, gunner all the way at the edge? He's probably the easiest one to knock off. He just kind of jumps off himself, which is nice. Let me see if we can send him off with this. I don't think it'll work because he has his, um, his shield on. Oh no, he's taking the plunge. What's up, dude? Hey, usually he drowns. Maybe not this time. That's a rip. <laughs> All right. He TP'd back up. Look! Wait. <laughs> there he goes. All right, so that time he drowned. Sometimes, uh, maybe he's not even down here. Co-op can be a little buggy. So usually when he falls, he drowns. Anyway, <laughs> that's funny. He has two lives, I guess lucky guy all right so then you're gonna go across you can uh, fight this dude if you want it but I just hit him once and then we'll keep going fly yourself up fly yourself up and we're gonna get this pyro mage up there and then this guy right here and we're gonna go for him first Yeah, so uh, the question Dapper was, uh, which, and sorry guys, I'm not reading chat as much just to focus on the video for YouTube, um, but I will definitely be a lot more active with chat after the video is done. Uh, the food I ate uh, was sticky honey roast, but I think you can eat any stamina food is fine. You just want something that's going to help you reduce stamina consumption to speed up the route because you're going to be sprinting around a lot. All right, so we'll come up here. We'll uh, get up to this pyro guy. If you can get to him quickly so he doesn't move, that's better. Because sometimes he can be knocked down. And you really don't want him to fall to the lower level. It'll slow down your uh, path. But here, we have to be careful because we're going to beat him. Oh, rip! He fell. That's all right. We go down. We go down. All right. So he's out. Uh, you can actually jump from here. This is okay. So uh, you're going to come over here. You're going to sprint off and you're going to jump. And your goal is to reach uh, the uh, air... F I don't know what you call it. Like a... What do you call this? 
I almost called it an air fountain. That's not the word I'm looking for. Whatever, the thing that makes you fly. Go to the thing that makes you fly, and you're going to fly straight this way. Air vent. I like that. Updraft. Updraft. Thank you, Valcor. That's the word I was looking for. All right, so you're going to fly straight this way towards this shiny tree. And you're going to look to land right here on this rock. And when I get here, I'll turn around so you can see the angle which we flew. But it's just to your right once you hit that draft. Okay, so you'll come up here. If you were back there, the updraft was right here, right? You come down, you jump to the updraft. You're going to look to your right, and you're going to fly straight towards this beautiful tree. Okay, that's the easiest way to think about it. After you get to the tree, you'll get on the slippiest, slipperiest hill in the world. If you keep trying to climb this, this is all that will happen. So don't waste your time doing that. I, I don't know what they were doing with this hill. It's like the weirdest hill. Just run over to the left and uh, uh, you'll come over this side. Oh yeah, Bar <laughs> our barber is like haunted right now. This is like very Halloween that's going on. <laughs> She's just got basically every effect in the game stacking on her. And then, and then to top it off, the name is Bloody. <laughs> to just make it all the more spooky. <laughs> It's really awesome. All right, so you come over here, and the first guy you're going to fight is the shield guy. You'll see him right away. He's just running around, doing nothing. You can go ahead and uh, beat on him and take him apart. All right. Shield dude's down. Excellent. After your shield guy drops, come over here. Again, core lapis, they go to the server host. If it's you, awesome. If it's not you, um, you know, can go to uh, whoever is hosting. And then you're just going to come across here to the path. And when you reach this path, you're going to see this guy. See this big dude under the tree? That's your next target. And hopefully he doesn't disappear on you. Really? Oh, I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see what I look like on your, uh, on your screen. I'll look at it after the video. It's awesome. All right, so after we kill the dude under the tree, by the way, like, some of these things spawn treasure chests, so, like, if you don't have all your chests, you may find some chests along this route also. Um, so just break everything. You have two groups. You have a group over here that's got a, a big hilly churl, a pyro, abyss mage. You've also got a group over here with another big hilly churl. Try to combine them if you can. So maybe divide and conquer. It'll make the clear faster. So you can pull this guy over, pull this guy over, right? And then get them to all be in one area so that you can AoE them down. See, so, and everybody's nice and together now. Oh. Apparently they all love me. Rip. So in this instance, I would say I pulled them probably too far away from all the other mobs. I didn't realize they were all aggroed to me. So I was just trying to kind of show you guys the grouping and they, they all just kind of followed me over. <laughs> probably don't do that. Probably try to keep them a little bit closer to all like the trash mobs also so you can get everything taken care of at once. It's not the end of the world. You'll, you'll, you'll get them all eventually. Alright. So after you clear all the enemies that are here. Um, just a side note. Again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. But if you're like farming, you can come over here and there'll be like a lot of... Um, like mining spots and sparklies, they're not on mine because I think I collected them yesterday. And there's like one lone like treasure hunter guy over here. If you want to kill him, you can. But like mainly the thing to do up here would be to farm some extra materials. And like here's some. Some people can get like some um, some white iron chunk. And this you can share with your friends, right? You can break any mining point and share with your friends. Just not Corlapis and not Noctilucus J. All right. So after that's all cleared and you've beaten all the enemies and you've done the mining you want to do. Then you're going to come back this way, and now you're just going to follow the path. Um, it's actually really simple. You don't have to think too much about it. You'll follow the path straight through, and as you're running down the path, you're going to encounter various groups of hilly churls. And so one of the things that was a constructive comment on our old farm route is it was a little light on, on hilly churl material. And I think this, this addition really helps with that, right? So you're going to get down here. You're going to see these guys, right? And, and hit those guys once, then I'll ulti once. Maybe it'll knock that other guy off his pillar. Yep, it's great. And you'll just clear these guys that are in your way. This guy's so funny. Oh, nice blue. And then you're going to move down to this path and you'll get another big guy. And behind this big guy in the cave, there's a Fatui Assassin. After the Fatui Assassin, we'll get to two more big hilly churls and another hilly churl camp, as well as um, a... I think it's a... 
water, so a Hydro Abyss Mage on the other side. Right, grab this guy. Very cool. Pick up, oh my god, so creepy. Uh, pick up all our farm and then we'll keep going forward. So here's the assassin I talked about. There'll also be some farming stuff here. Yep, there it is. And remember, you can share this with your friends. Probably kill the assassin first before you go break the mining mats. <laughs> Just in case he starts disappearing and who knows where he's gonna go and you know, doing his little funny invisible dance before he strikes you. Alright, so you get that, come over, break these with your buddies, share in the crystal. And then you're going to move, sh again, straight along the path. Some more things you can break. Grab it, grab it. Straight along the path. Alright, don't be tempted. You're going to come through here, and you're going to see, the first thing you're going to see is the Abyss Mage. Don't be tempted. Ignore him. Take a left. Hop through this. Go through this. Go through this, and you'll see this little camp, and you can come through on the back side of the camp. I would set one person up top here to deal with the uh, uh, archers. The other people can go down to the main floor um, and just... What the? Chest? Hello? 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 Thank you? Oh! It feels so good to get chest. Thank you, thank you. My hero. My hero. So you can send one person up here. See these archers that appear? That's the main reason why you do it. They can be kind of annoying if you don't um, hit them. So, yeah. Dude, I love chess. Chess make me so happy right now. All right, so we'll come up and we'll do the cleanup on these guys. And our team took care of the rest. We pick up all the rest of this. We come down here. Again, smaller hilly churls, if you need the mats, take them out. If you don't need the mats, don't worry about it. Um, you know, it's totally up to you. No big deal. So we got all this. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And then now we can go naturally to this Abyss Mage, right? And we'll get a natural loop around to the next part of our route. So that's why we don't run over here. Otherwise, you end up doing some backtracking that's, you know, a little bit inefficient. It's not like the end of the world. But yeah, you hit this dude and he's going to spawn like a whole army of guys. So just run to the back, maybe, and do an AoE to clear. Uh, my angle is a little off there, but uh, yeah, no worries. Co-op helps. They help cover your mistakes. All right, cool. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Oh, blue. That's what we need. All right, so after that's done, you're going to come back over here, and you're going to look for the stairs. So when we came out of this thing, you probably didn't notice them, but there were some stairs to your right. This is the part you're looking for. These stairs that'll lead you up. You're going to go up these stairs, and they're going to connect you to the back side of the southern route. Which, again, I think a lot of people run this southern route on their own and don't necessarily connect it to our main route. So I think this is an elo eloquent way to do that without having to worry uh, too much. So there's a Dendro Slime uh, sometimes over here. Where is he? I actually don't see him today. Interesting. So, um, hmm. You got him? Oh, there he is. He doesn't have his little uh, top. He's like bugged for us. All right. You'll be able to see him easily, probably, on uh, non co op. He's like kind of bugged for us. It's weird. I can't actually see him. This is the, the goofiness of co op, guys. But there is a there's a dendro slime, a big dendro slime here. So you run up to him and you'll kill him. And then you'll run up this path after you kill him. Uh, to fight these two uh, Fatui guys, a Cryo and a Hydro Fatui. And again, when you combine them, you always want to go for the Hydro Fatui first, because he's the one who can heal both of them, whereas the Cryo is just going to kind of deal damage and, and be annoying and tanky. Cool. All right. So we got, uh, we got both of these. And then what we're going to do is uh, you just go straight through here and you're going to jump and uh, maybe keep an eye on your stamina, um, but you're, you're basically going to jump down to the water. So you can come over here if you want to walk it, take your core lapis. It's no big deal. Thank you. 
but then uh, you're basically going to jump. You'll have this Animo Slime here. He's optional, but if you want him, take him, right? If you need slime materials, there are some really good slime spots on the map that are not part of this route that uh, we'll talk about at the end of the video. But like, for the most part, I think, you know, you can get consistent small amounts of slime material through the route. And uh, depending on how much you need, if you're target farming or something, then you may want to do another route. There's this Dendro guy here. I always skip him. It's just one little Dendro. Um, he's probably not worth your time, if I'm being honest. All right, jump off. We're going to come down here. There's a treasure hunter guy here. There's two more here. There's a hilly churl there. And then there's two more abyss mages, as well as another big hilly churl. And then one more group of treasure hunters to close out the route. Sweet. <laughs> These two guys are so clueless. We grab their gear, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to run up here. And we're going to come through here and fight this big guy. After he's done, you'll see there's a little crack in the wall. You'll see a big hilly trail there and this little dude doing whatever little dudes do. There'll be an abyss mage here and one to your left. And you'll just start the fight how you want. You can group them all together and make it really, really fun. Or you can fight them one at a time. Um, this guy will mostly stay out there until you hit him. Uh, but if you want to bring him in and just make it a little bit more challenging, sometimes more challenging can be a great time. So uh, it's totally up to you what you want to do there. That guy. Let's go ahead and bring him in. Cool. Got him. I think the water one's still alive. The water ones seem to live the longest. I will say that. I have noticed that the like uh, water abyss mages tend to be the most tanky. Even if I switch to Electro, they got some good shields. They know what they're doing. All right, cool. So we'll pick up all our loot. If um, you want, you can come in here. There's a bunch of Nocta loot to Jade. Again, this should go to the server host. Um, don't steal it from your friends. Uh, it's not nice. Uh, only one person can pick those up. They're not like normal mining. Come up here, make sure you don't have everything. And then there's one more spot near the edge that we'll run to that has uh, a couple of other farm dudes. Which I think is this way? Am I running the right way? I might be confused. Yes, these guys right here. So you hit this guy, and his buddies spawn. And this will be the end of the route. Are you sure you can share j Okay, so Shasun says you can share Jade. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to give bad information. Apparently Jade you can share. It's just Corlopis you can't share. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you for correcting me so I don't give bad information. I do still have island boats. I have everything. So look, that's the end of the primary farm route. Um, let me just zoom out. There's a map again that'll be in the description below. Um, but as you can see, we started all the way up here, went down, and then without really teleporting after that, just went through and was able to clear this entire area all the way down through the southern route. And so this is one long route that if you just... You know, if you're tired of going through all the different spawns or you're not sure what to do and you just need one thing to do every day, I think this is the one thing that you can do every day um, that will give you a good source of income, of artifacts, of materials that will help keep you going throughout the day. And if you're trying to find stuff to do that's fun, especially in co-op, it's really cool. And again, if you group with your friends, you can do this multiple times, right? Yes, the respawn it. rate is uh, per server day. So you can do it on your server with all your friends. You can go to a friend server, do it there. And you can do it you know, as many times as you can find somebody who has all these units spawned. 
So I think it's a really great route. Um, I think at this point, you know, this would be basically the end of the video. If you're interested in bonus content around what other side routes we run, um, that's what I'm going to go into next. And, and if not, hopefully this was really helpful for you. And again, you can use the links in the description below to uh, follow on your own map um, without having the video in the background um, just to have a copy of the route. And, and I do think pinning different key points on your map will help your memory in terms of figuring it out and memorizing it. And then eventually you won't need any assisting material at all. So um, yeah, hopefully you really enjoy it. And uh, if you do, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash Lionheart, where we stream every weekday, Monday through Friday, uh, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, okay. So separate from that, for those of you who are still here on the video and also who are here live, there's a couple of other routes we run that I think are really efficient. Um, and let me show you just the small ones, and then I'll go into the last big one, which most of you will know, but we have a few spots that we go to that you may not, so it could still be worth your time. The first spot is right over here, up above Jayun Karst. Um, if you teleport to this, there are three uh, uh, rune walkers here that I like to clear every day. So we usually go in here, clear these, and there's actually like a bunch of other mobs in here that I don't have marked, especially like if you need treasure hunters up here, there's really good. And also at Mount Hula, if you jump down here by that big tree, there's like a dendro slime spawn that has a bunch of little spawns. So if you really need slimes, that's a great location. Another great location for slimes is um, actually over down here at uh, Gwili Plains. If you just walk around this bend, so you teleport to this point, uh, jump down and just walk along the coast, You'll get a ton of farm here that you can clear. There's an Electro Mage, there's That's an really Ice Flower, good. some Treasure Hunters, lots of slimes along the outside of the coast. And inside here, there's uh, two Abyss Mages uh, that you can clear as well. Um, I also like going here to, I don't even know how to, we'll just call it Yao Guang. I can't read this word because I have it marked. But um, basically just TPing here and zigzagging across these islands, there's a lot of good mobs here that you can farm. So I usually hit that every day. And then, of course, those big armored guys I like to grab as well, right? So there's one up here. There's one up here. Um, there's some in here that you can find as well. Um, uh, and so I usually clear those every day. Also, every day I clear ley lines, but I don't redeem them. Um, it helps complete the battle pass and it also just spawns elite mobs some of the time and they have their regular drop tables so it's totally worth it to just go to your ley line every day and clear them even if you're not going to redeem them with resin and, and we don't redeem them with resin um, that's it. I don't go up to Mondstadt that often. You can circle around the bottom of Storm Terror's Lair, which we did today, and then TP here for the, um, there's a Ruin Guard art here, and there's also a big Ice Slime here. Um, there's also, like, like this is another quick TP. You go up here, there's an Electro Fatui, and then over here there's a, another Ruin Walker. Same thing here, an Electro Fatui up here with a Ruin Walker. You can get those, um, they're kind of just one-offs out of the way. I, I usually skip that stuff on a daily basis. And then there's a bunch of guys down here, like a couple more Fatui, and um, like there's like a, a a Cryo Abyss Mage, and also some uh, some Cryo Flowers that you can do around here. But but again, I, I mostly stay out of Mondstadt at this point. I, I just don't think that time investment's worth it. The other major route to run, um, which doesn't link nicely with our route, but is important that I do every day, is Guyon Stone Forest. Um, and here's pretty simple. You run back, you kill the Fatui Assassin here, you TP back, and then you're just going to circle the island. And the part, in case you guys don't want to stay for the whole clear, which we're about to do, the part that I noticed that most people miss here is there's actually three Abyss Mages up on top of this mountain that people just tend to skip, right? They get into their farm route, they're going through, they're clearing all these guys, they're running around, they're excited about the fight here with the four Ruin Walkers, which is like tons of fun, right? Um, but, there, but there's actually three Abyss Mages up here on this mountain, and it doesn't take you a lot of time to climb up it and fight them, and they respawn every day. So make sure on your own route that you're hitting those Abyss Mages. Um, so yeah, so that's the quick summary on what we do for farming. And uh, I think we'll run this route real quick here as bonus content, and then we'll end the video. And uh, hopefully this content has been really helpful for you guys. And if you're worried about things to do or just trying to buy time, that's it. And uh, again, you can make uh, quite a bit of Mora from this as well. We On the standard route, it's about 15,000 Mora each time you run it, um, you know, which adds up over time. You, you know, you can make quite a bit in a week. So, cool. Let's go uh, zigzag back. And also, if you want to eat food again, that part is also um, totally optional. You, you know, you can do it, but but you don't have to. There's our uh, Fatui assassin. We'll go and just uh, teach him a lesson. 
Oh, he'll teach us a lesson because I'm out of stamina and I can't close the distance. Oh, rip. Here's what we're going to do. Cool. So after this one, I think you just TP back. I try to avoid doing too much like back and forth TPing because it can be, you know, again, kind of a lot for, for folks. But uh, yeah, in this instance, we just we just TP back. No problem. <laughs> yeah, and I really I, I tell you guys, I, I love I love I love doing this in co-op. I think it's really fun. It, it is special to do it by yourself. I think you can clear really fast because the scaling is lesser, uh, especially if you have good gear by yourself. But like, if you have friends who are geared, like it's just more fun to play with people. You can see more like elemental reactions. You can make more mistakes without it like really impacting the total speed of the run because somebody's always there to help you. So uh, I like that. I think that's cool. And I know that people want more co-op content. Um, I do too, right? I, I think I think they definitely can do more with co-op and. There's a lot of improvements still uh, that we'd all like to see, but but this is something you can do that I, I do think is fun. And and again, depending on your personal schedule, if you have a lot of time, you know you can run this a lot per day and, and really you know see quite a return. Uh, I think for your time, you may end up having too many materials actually, <laughs> and then you'll find out like we did when we tried to sell some materials that you can't actually sell them for any value. <laughs> they're they're not worth anything. They just trash. Maybe uh, Mihoyo will change that for us. It would be nice. <laughs> Another source of Mora, perhaps. Um, I think, so, what up, uh, Elite? I think I could start reading chat a little bit more now, since the main portion of the video is done. Um, and thanks, everyone, for being patient uh, while I was uh, going through that. Uh, you know, it's a, it's whenever you record a YouTube video live, it's just kind of awkward, because it's like you, you, can, you really want to focus on the video and not make mistakes, and, but then at the same time you want to interact. So uh, I think this is a good place to fi farm crabs, this island right here. Um, and I just kind of wander around on foot and sprint and grab them. And you know who the ultimate uh, farmer is for both crabs and fish? Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, there's a, any, any character who has a good sprint, but um, uh, particularly Mona, actually. Yeah. Now you may not have her, I understand, but uh, yeah, if you do, if any of you have her, she is. Uh, she moves very fast for catching fish. You can sprint over the water. Mona is. Uh, Mona is the one for fishing. Look at this little guy. Look at him. Hey, look, B Barbara's back to normal. She's no longer possessed. It's a miracle. Welcome back. Welcome back to the land of the living. We broke her curse by completing the farm route. That's all you got to do. It's like an exorcism. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's TP. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is what fixes it. But uh, we'll just pretend it's the farm route. Extra benefits. Cool. Or lapis. Rip, my miss. Oh, I did miss. It was actually ready. I like this fight here too. Cool. <laughs> Demonic powers are so good. <laughs> are there really crabs at Lua Pool, Daki? That's amazing. I didn't know that actually. Hey, look, a nice uh, uh, four-star relic drop for us. Berserker's timepiece. At this point, I'm using most four-star relic drops as uh, fodder for us, but it feels really good because we need a ton of fodder. We have lots of sets we want to be able to upgrade and improve. Falcon Coast, Ron 97 says, is also a really good spot for crabs. We gotta go crab farming. I'm ready. I want to be a master chef and max out every recipe. It takes quite a bit of time. 
uh, because of the, the crabs and the fish. I got to the point where I started buying the fish from that vendor in Leeway who like <laughs> increases the price the more you buy from him. I was like, yeah, whatever, I'll pay the tax. I need these fish. It's such a bad deal. So much better to just go fishing yourself. We got it. Very cool, very cool. Alright, so from here, this is the spot where people, usually they just keep going to go and fight. This is where you'll go up the mountain. Remember I was talking about those extra abyss mages? This is the spot where you do it. There's probably some shortcuts you can do for like climbing if you want. I usually just run the path because it's easier. Maybe I'll hop over like small walls like this just to save time. But uh, yeah, you're going to come up with over here, jump this, and uh, hop around and you'll see they're just up there waiting for you. There they are. The three homies. And they'll all come to you. You don't even have to worry about it. And probably in co-op, you just focus on the one that you can deal the most damage to in terms of breaking shields. And in a divide and conquer situation, that ends up being really good. And then maybe, uh... Oh, everyone else is still alive. We come, we come, we come. Woo! Look like people taking some damage. Let's heal a bit. <laughs> Look like it's a hard fight going on over here. There's a lot of damage happening. <laughs> it's alright. We'll break him ourselves. So the nice thing about it being uh, Boats and I here is that he can give me ice damage so we can break this, or cryo damage, excuse me, so we can break this faster. And then once it's broken, I can start using my pyro again. I can also start missing it again too. There we go. Rip, rip our teammates, Boats. <laughs> See you guys on the other side. Hello from the other side. Yo, did you get these over here, boats? Here we go. Alright. Probably good to uh, wait for our teammates to come back so they can get the farm so they can see where it is. There's show here in case uh, he wasn't able to get all the pickups. Be a team player, you know, there's no reason to rush off. Everybody's in it together. People die. I'll die. I've died many times, actually. It happens. All right, so here's the trick here. This is the one tip I'll give you from here. Don't just jump off. Like, a lot of times I just jump off, and then I realize I'm flying the wrong direction. <laughs> just orient yourself. To just take a moment. You're excited. Orient yourself so that you actually end up flying the correct way, and you don't end up flying, like, backwards, and then you're like, crap, I just added, like, five minutes to my route. Just, just make sure you're flying the right way. <laughs> if I if I give you this as a tip, it means I've made the mistake myself before. And uh, that's why I'm sharing it so you can learn. What up, DJ Migs? Lionheart, do you have a guide for chests too? I did post a guide about what I think are best practices for looking for chests. I think in my experience, what I've discovered is that the respawning for chests is so random that any particular route um, is maybe not too useful for people. Uh, so I, instead I tried to make a video on YouTube, uh, which uh, here I'll just type the link here. So if you guys want to uh, check out that content. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that the, the what I've discovered is that the, the respawn is too random. And so it's better to have best practices and then use an interactive map in order to uh, check common chess locations when you have time. And uh, yeah, that's been the best practice for me so far. Um, I won't get to AR-45 before the reset skinny, um, but it will be very close. There's maybe a path for me to do it if I went crazy on chess, but I think when I did the math, it was like a... I was pretty short. It was like 10,000 AXP short. Like, like I, I think I would need like the world's best luck on chess and have had to have done it every day, like a full map check, um, which I just wasn't willing to do.
but we'll definitely be AR45 next week, and we'll hit AR50 before 1.1 releases. Rip. I love this fight. Oh, I ran into it. That was not my intention. We had started off so clean, guys. In true Batman fashion. What a great fight. What an actual great fight. They need more of these. If I could give Mihoyo one, like, mob recommendation, it would be to make more fights like this. That's a fun fight. And we end off with a uh, artifact. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Well, hey, uh, for those of you still watching on YouTube, thanks so much. And again, I hope this video helped you. Uh, you can find a map that shows the primary route uh, in the description in the link below. And then for all the other routes we went over, there's no map. But uh, but again, I'll, I'll mark that in the table of contents on the video so you can quickly skip back and see the areas I'm tracing and talking about for your own farm. Yes, we can um, rest a bit. Thanks again for watching. And I hope you guys uh, have an absolutely wonderful time playing Genshin Impact.